It's a lifestyle farming. It's, you know, you work every day of the year. You know, you don't have a day off ever. You've always got to be here. You've always got to be around, which is why the community is so important. Farming um, communities and people in the know, old boys on the riverbank were saying, sooner or later there is going to be a disaster. And this is the disaster we're having. I can't remember really what normal is at the moment because I'm firefighting all the time. Hello. Hello, Emma, all right? Well, we want some able-bodied people to actually move stuff. Gerald has cleared a shed, so he's ready to receive 50. I've just had somebody ring me about with Land Rovers and things. Yeah, yeah but I mean, it's coming over here, you see, yeah. curloaded. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Bye, bye. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna keep my battery going. For, for the villagers, we've all pulled together, but we really don't know what we're actually meant to be doing for each other, because, you know, we don't know where this water's gonna be, where it's going, who's getting flooded, who's not, and there is, you know, it is, it is pandemonium. Um, it, well, it's manpower to clear a shed out, basically. I've got two lads coming from Taunton now, um, so a couple more, if, if possible, preferably people that can drive machinery as well. All right, lovely, thank you. Bye, bye. Do you know, I haven't got a clue who that was, but they obviously don't know who I was. People from long, a long way off, you know, right up at the top of Somerset, are saying they'll come and help. What can we do? Where are you guys from? Well, I just came up earlier, I'm just helping out as a good neighbour. I've got a disabled chap who needs a wet room and he can't get into my yes, downstairs. I've got a wet no, there's a wet room. And I've got there. a downstairs room Brilliant. that could be used as a bedroom. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. Do you feel that the community has helped more than the state or...? Oh, without doubt. Yeah, without doubt. We've got a police car causing them destruction here, which we're going to tow out of the way of the chain in a second. On the other side of our Grey Bridge, if there's any police there, get on a radio and find out whose it is. They've got, they've got two minutes. If your home is, is being inundated and you can't get to it, you know, and he's going home to put more sandbags and try and do all that, I mean, it, you know, and they know this is the only access for them. Well, I mean, we need to it, be clear. Out, I know, yeah, I know. Day. And I don't, I don't think that they understand that, but they will in a minute. Hi. Hi. Do you know where whoever no, owns? No, 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 right, because he is, he is beginning to lose it. So okay. it's really, really we important. We will try our best. And, thank uh, you. Thank you. Did you just get the feeling that actually they thought I was just being a pain? Where, are, where is the help? Where is the help in making the sandbags? Where is the help ferrying people, you know, across so they can actually get to work or get their cars back or collect their posts? Stop. We're going to bring your tractor back. Bring your tractor back. You were lucky. Right. You were lucky. Right. For two minutes. You want the media to be here and you want to be able to tell a story. You, you know, you want to get it out there. You want to, to say, look, we need some help now. And you would think by now that the message must surely have got across that actually we do need some help, but it's not here. It really isn't here. Behind that, we get lots of heavy showers sweeping in. They're loving the forecast because it's getting, you know, oh, there's another storm on the way. And look at that, the southwest are going to be hit again. And you think, okay, the message is obvious. We've made Prince Charles come down and visit you. Look, that's marvellous. But in reality, we are already in chaos. The bank here has been shored up in order for that to stop seepage and there's a massive amount of sandbags just holding that bank back so that that doesn't go. But So after, after this spillway starts running, that you know, you can see over there like the waterfall effect, um, there, is, there is nothing else that is, is set up so the water will then spill anywhere. So once, you know, once it's all full, then it, it'll just go completely uncontrollably. I just genuinely, genuinely hope that someone will turn up who has maybe an ounce of common sense, will listen to some old voices, listen to what worked in the past, and actually put that plan into action. Do you remember when you were a kid with a flood like this? No, <laughs> it used to get flooded all over there, all over there, but not like this, nothing like this. Lord Smith came 
in the last event of 2012-13 made an empty promise that something had to be done and it wasn't as bad as this then so I would like to show him now what it's like and what his empty promise of getting something done has created. The way things are at the moment I'm not sure whether we can continue. This event could be the end of our business. It's bloody awful isn't it? It's awful, it's awful, it's awful.